Alright. Hey guys, it's your boy STL Sneakerhead. <coughs> uh, today, me and my friend, Sir, <laughs> gonna be uh, making another video about between my shoes and his shoes. And I'm just starting off with the uh, OG 2001 Columbia 11. Well, starting off with this. This shoe starting to turn tan a little bit from age and stuff like that. Uh, tongue kind of, kind of, kind of looks yellow. If you can see it through the laces. Uh, a little creasing going on in the back, and uh, <laughs> the sole is super yellow. I just need the sole sauce again for a long, long time. And on the inside of the shoe. What they did back in 2001 with the Nike Air on the inside of it. On the Nike Air inside of it instead of um, the Jordan sign. That's what kind of threw me off when I first looked inside of the shoe. Alright. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, sir. I have the 2010 uh, Cool Grey release. This holiday release. Release, you know, how they always release at 11. But, um, yeah, I did off of eBay. The story with this is that I got my eBay. And, um, I was kind of hesitant with getting them because, you know, how most people talk about getting them online, they might not be real. But, you know, I saw some good pictures. Like, you can see the carbon fiber really good, and you can tell that it was real. I've done weeks of research, so. But, honestly, the third space is like one, two, three. And the carbon fiber, you know, like, you can, sometimes you can hear it, I don't know, sometimes you might not be able to, but you can scratch it, and it's like bumpy sometimes. Um, let's see what else. Uh, they was they're pretty yellow. Tried to dye the soles. I mean, it worked a little bit, but I probably will try it one more time. But, um, I need, they yeah, yeah, need a little restoration. Gonna try to get this back gray. But, yeah, that's the blue grays. Alright, hey, it's another video of uh, a shoe collection between me and Sir uh, Shoes. So, this one next is the low. Infrared Low 11 came out in 2014 in June, like late June. Alright, so for these, I don't, I barely even wear them. Like, see that I keep the, the shoe tree in there and the Jordan sign is still there because I don't wear them as much. And on the bottom, since uh, I try to keep the soul preserved. I got the soul protector on there. Shout out to soul protector for that. And um, that's all about what I can say about the shoe is, but um, painted leather feels good straight out the box when I first got it. Everything else seems so slick about this shoe. And that's it. That's all I have to say about this wonderful infrared 11 bow. So guys, got the snake scans here. Came out 2014. Um, see, this is probably, this is my first Jordan I got, like, this is when I really first got into Jordans. My mom told me I should probably get these, and she liked it, so, no arguing with mom, so, you know, I just got it. But, um, yep, okay, it's starting to get a little yellow, but, need a little work on it. Um, clean the white up a little bit, but, uh. Got any suggestions on these? Let me know. Alright, now we're on to the fives of me and Sir's collection. Alright, now this, as y'all know in the first video, I got these like two two weeks ago. After after release date on that Monday, after it released the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight, as y'all know. And <coughs> excuse me. Um, they had like three M reflective tongue on there, lace lock, blue, navy blue laces, oh I forgot to say the names, these are the Hornet Fives, and um, I have only worn them twice, soles are going to stay icy for me, because I'm going to barely wear these, they have the netting as you see right here, um, this uh, shark teeth, sort of kind of, on the fin, airbag back here, 
and on the inside they did something new they flipped the Jordan sign up here upside down and then in here they uh, made the 30 like 30 year anniversary of Jordan ever making shoes and him ever making shoes in production with Nike and everything else and but yeah that's all I have to say about this particular five my first five I ever bought and that's about it for this five Alright, we got the uh, Fire Red 5, great time. Um, on these, it came out 2013, but they re-released in 2013. So they still have the Air Jordan right side up. Uh, got the clear netting and the side and the tongue. Uh, so, twisted in here. And then the tongue. And um, let's see what else. Um, the tongue, of course, is gray. Um, lace lock. Most fives come with lace lock. Um, I try to keep them pretty icy. They don't really wear them a lot because they fives, you know. I try to be fresh prints with them. But, um, <laughs> and I, uh, I put like, um, SRAM wrap, uh, the, uh, the insoles so the Jordan side kind of stay on. So, yeah, it's been working out pretty far. Okay. All right, now we're on to the another Concord 11 low. Um, but these, these right here, these came out in May 2014. So I got these as first start restart of my uh, Jordan collection, as they say, because I had the first. Bread, uh, bread ones, and like when I was like six. So back to the shoe. Uh, as I say, I keep my lace laces light, uh, lace like this. So the black, black leather around the whole shoe, and then a white lace area for the shoe. Jordan, little Jordan sign on the back. As they all know about the Jordan. Um. Uh, Carbon fiber right here, as you know, gotta gotta make that sound on my otherwise they fake. But now, like onto the sole, these kind of yellow because I didn't know about sole protector. After that, and then after that, year after that, I just got uh, sole protector for my other shoes now. But in the end, that's all I have to say about this wonderful Concord 11 bow. Alright, we got the Jordan Double Nickel Remastered. Remaster means that they have been released before and they're just now re-releasing them. As you see on the side, we got the 45 right here. On the 10s, they got the nice little bungee straps. Um, on under the tongue, nice unique Jordan symbol right there. And the front of the tongue, Air Jordan 23. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so. This leather is like crackling and everything. Like, kind of makes it seem like it's easy for it to uh, crease, but kind of is in reality. And then they got the smooth part right here. And as you can see on the bottoms, they got the black and red pattern. Um, they got the years, like it says 94 Beyond, I believe, and 93 MVP. So that's just like years Jordan has accomplished things. And, uh, yes. Yeah, about it for this shoe. Get you a pair of these. Tangent pretty much.